this is one block of ice. It is just as slippery as if you were on a skating rink. You could skate on this. I can see all the way down. There's cracks everywhere. Yeah. And actually, that's a that's a challenge in driving because if you look, well, you don't turn any right here. <coughs> but there are big cracks. Some of them are like this big, this big. <coughs> <clears throat> and some of them go straight up the road and uh, your tire wants to go into it so well there's one right there and uh, it's just like going over railroad tracks so you don't want your bike to go into it so you got to keep steering away from the cracks where's also, your crack where's the crack at? Ice, where's the crack at Rob that you want to point out what this one here no no there's one right up here all right let's just follow Rob for a second here so, while we uh, so you want to avoid the cracks but at the same time you're on solid ice, so you don't want to make any fast steering input. Um, it's ice, guys. You can put your ice skates on and skate on this thing. And this is what I've been hitting too with the truck, and they're like a pothole. So it'll take your tire, it'll take your tire, and then you're going to start spinning out because the front tire is doing what it, it has to do, and your other tires are now going crazy. And they're all they're all over the place. So yeah, they're like ice potholes. And I and I don't have studs in my rear tire. It's a, it's become it's a real challenge. So I I just I can only do it by going slow. As soon as I go over about uh, uh, 60 kilometers an hour, my rear tire breaks loose, even on the snow. And on the ice, my rear tire breaks loose at like 40 kilometers an hour or less. So it's and I just worth, start fishtailing. So it's worth definitely getting good studs. Yeah, that's going to be the trick. Uh, uh, if I were to do this again, I would experiment with uh, a different stud solution. I think I would take uh, really good ice, ice uh, studs and put them on just at the dumpster, like that guy was telling us at, at Eagle Plains. And I would use these uh, studs that I have. I just put them on the bike to get up to the dumpster, you know, because yeah. they're great on the highway. But uh, you need something really stuck in that's not going to spin out. Okay, Rob, well, we're sitting here and it's minus 21 right now. Yeah. It's been minus 22 on your trip. And you're pretty decked out here. What kind of suit have you got on there? I have a snowmobile suit. And yeah. I have uh, long underwear, then a layer of electric top and bottom. Then I have uh, a fleece over that and under that. Then I have my snowmobile suit and I'm totally warm. I could do this without electric right now, but it's nice to have the electric with you, just in, state, in case you start getting cold. Um, the other thing that I've, I fixed the, the leak in my hand that was really bothering me yesterday, it was, it was a lot warmer yesterday, it was like minus eight, minus 12, and I was in way more pain, way colder yesterday than today, I'm, I'm toasty today. Good. Um, so we fixed that, that was, that was a big problem. Uh, on my feet, if you take a look at the bike here, um, the front of the bike here uh, funnels all the wind down into your right foot. I never really noticed it before. I didn't really care before. But right down here, what happens is your foot is right down into here, and all the wind gets funneled down. It goes right down there on your right foot. So my right foot was freezing yesterday, even though the rest of my body was toasty warm. And so what I did is I got some of those uh, chemical hand warmers that uh, a lot of the construction guys use and I shoved them in the front toe of both my boots and today I'm rocking so it's it's a lot colder and I'm totally toasty warm. I'm not having any temperature problems at all today. Just traction problems. So it's always something. But it's uh it's it's manageable. I'm having a lot of fun. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just coming onto the Beaufort Sea now. And is this not this folks this is a river. This is their means of transportation. In the summertime, Rob, what do they do? Do they have to seaplane everything in and uh, and boat? Do they work boats? Do they work the boats on this river? You either or do fly they or, you, or you go by boat, yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Right now, in the winter, when does the ice roads open up usually? In November? Uh, I think December, I'm not sure. December? And then they'll go right through till we got like two more weeks and they'll shut this baby down and then everybody's got to figure another way to get the talk. Yeah. So we're very we, lucky. We better not stay there for a month. <laughs> so anybody watching this film that's an avid biker, likes a little adventure, don't wait. 
It's here. It's wonderful. It's it's a mind blower, and you've seen this whole trip. It's it's not you know it's one adventure after another, over and out.